Hey, good morning. Today I'm going to walk through the steps to uh, work on the 2007 Audi A8. I'm um, going to take the front bumper off, so I'll show you how I do that. One thing I should have mentioned at the start, um, put the car in lift mode. That'll give you a little bit more clearance between the fender and the wheel. And um, also put your parking brake on. You can also put the car in jack mode just to be on the safe side. There are basically um, three bolts down where the, the front bumper connects into um, the, uh, the side panel frame. That's on both sides. So there's basically three uh, bolts on the bumper on both sides. Three on this side that connect in here. And I think it's uh, 10 millimeter nuts. So to get at these nuts, we have to take the uh, fender inner liner out or um, loosen it up and, and kind of get in there. So to do that, I'm gonna turn the wheels inward so we can get access without having to take the wheels off. That could be your alternate approach is to jack the car up on both front ends and then you gotta put the car in jack mode and all of that stuff. But I'm gonna try to take the shortcut route. We'll turn the wheels in on, on each side and get access to the fender well and then see if we can get those nuts out. We'll take the hood up, show you where those screws are, and we'll go from there. All right, so I turned the car on, turned the wheels all the way to the right. It's not giving me much access. I'm gonna give it a try, uh, but if I can't get enough of the screws out, then uh, I may jack the car up on the front wheels and uh, go from there. So basically, uh, most of these are just a T25 screw. I like to get a screwdriver. Just take those out. Keep them handy so I don't lose them. There may be uh, a few more up under here, so you just gotta find them and um, loosen those out so that you can get the, the rubber uh, fender well out. And again, we don't need to go too far. Ultimately, we've gotta get access to the nuts that are uh, right there on the, the bumper coming in this way, the three nuts. Um, so let's see if I can get the wrench in there and we'll go from there. So it's handy to get um, a couple extensions on your ratchet socket. Um, and you can kind of see why, because we've got to get to uh, um, get deep enough in there to get to the nuts. Uh, again, the connection point is right around here. So you gotta peel that um, rubber uh, inner liner out of the way and then having a flashlight would be handy so that you can kind of look in there and look as close to the fender and uh, find those nuts. So I'm gonna set the phone down, see if I can find those and I'll be right back. All right, I got the three nuts off on both sides, and um, we want to uh, remove the little plastic covers here. Mine broke in two. These just pop out. Set those down to the side. And there should be Again, T25 screws that hold these in. First one. Second one. Third one. Fourth one. And the fifth one. out 
and you can see that this part lifts up. Don't want to lose those. This lifts up. And at which point you'll lift up and then kind of wiggle it out uh, on both sides. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to have to set the phone down. I'll be right back. I have found it to be easier if you take the, uh, the little grill out. You can just pop that out with your fingers. That gives you a little bit more place to leverage it underneath. And as you start to wiggle things loose. You'll see that starts to separate from there. So let me set the phone back down. I'll be right back. Okay, one quick tip. Before you pull the bumper out. Is the very lower panel. You pull that forward. Then the bumper starts to separate easier. So make sure you do that on both sides. And you can see now the three, three bolts, one, two, three, fit right in there. So those three nuts are what we took out. So now, kind of wiggle it loose and set your bumper down. So, um, a lot going on in here again. Yeah, same three bolts that go in here on this side. Other things that you uh, probably want to look at. Um, here's your two horns. There's a high pitch and a low pitch. See those connectors? And um, underneath, you can kind of see some of the other connectors, wiring that feeds, um, I guess, the, the uh, sensors, parking sensors, as well as your fog lights, um, and also the switch that turns on the heated jets for your headlights. Uh, one other thing of importance underneath here is your garage door opener um, transmitter. That's this right here. And what else? I guess if you have the option installed, you might have the adaptive cruise. That would be mounted in here. Uh, I think it's a radar type device. I don't have that option on this car. 